hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given cubic equation by factoring and at the end we're going to check our answer as well so let's go ahead and look at this cube equation look at the first pair over here over here do you see that thing uh, look for the gcf the, the factors between these two and as you can see the factor between these two is 3x square so just bring it outside and in parentheses is going to be 7x minus 4 so far so good now i want you to focus on the second pair right up here and look for the common factors and in this one over here is negative 5 is in common so in parentheses is going to be 7x minus 4 and that equals to 0 now you can see in parentheses 7x minus 4 is in common bring it outside and then inside parentheses is going to be 3x square minus 5 equal to 0. Now we're going to go ahead and split these two factors. 7x minus 4 equal to 0 and the other one is going to be 3x square minus 5 equal to 0. I want you to move this negative 4 on the other side. So that is going to become 7x equal to 4 divide both sides by 7. So x turns out to be 4 over 7 as one of our solution. Let's focus on this side. I want you to move this negative 5 on the other side. So this becomes negative 3x squared equal to positive 5 divide both side by 3 so x square turns out to be 5 over 3 so far so good we want to get rid of this square so we can uh, take the square root on both sides so far so good so let's go ahead and do this one over here so this square and square root they undo each other we got x equal to positive or negative and I can break them up I'm going to put down square root of 5 over square root of 3 and now we're going to be you know the rule that square root or the radical must not be at the bottom and now I just put down these fractions right up here and we're going to rationalize it. That means we're going to remove this radical from the bottom. To do that one, whatever is at the bottom over here, you multiply and divide by that same number. On the top, if you multiply this thing, that's going to give you square root of 5 times square root of 3 and when you multiply these two over here that is going to become simply 3 so on the bar on the top that's going to be 5 times 3 is square root of 15 over 3 so that means we simply got x equal to positive or negative square root of 15 over 3 so thus our solution set turns out to be 4 over 7 from here and then square root of 15 over 3 with a positive sign over here and then negative square root of 15 over 3 when you put a negative sign. And finally we're going to check our answers in this step. As you recall in our previous step we found out these three solutions as you can see now in our to check our answer i want you to add all these three solutions up i want you to put down 4 over 7 plus square root of 15 over 3 plus negative square root of 15 over 3 and ask yourself is it equal to minus b over a where minus b over a on 
this side you can see a b c d's these are the coefficients of this cubic polynomial so minus b equals to minus and then b is a negative 12 over a is 21 so that becomes 12 over 21 equal to reduces to 4 over 7 now we figured out negative b over a is 4 over 7 and on the left hand side these two cancel out we ended up with 4 on, over 7 on the left hand side as well now my question is is this statement true yes this statement is indeed true that means our answer is checked thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos